Okay, so, hey everybody, this is Dan here, and uh, we uh, he had a really cool revelation that he uh, has been sharing with me tonight, and um, I want to share this with you guys because it's just really, really good, and, uh, and I'm probably going to forward this to a couple other friends too, but uh, so Dan here, he, he got a revelation kind of recently, and he came by the shop, he's like, Nate, I need to... I need to uh, I need to sit down with you and, and share this insight the Lord gave me for you. And I was like, oh, for me? Wow, okay. And uh, <clears throat> and so he's been sharing it with me tonight. And Dan, so we'll try to push this this little thing out in hopefully five to ten minutes. But So the Lord showed Dan this. Uh, okay, I'm going to hold that up, Dan. Okay. So he saw this like, so going to describe. So basically Dan saw target. this target. But he saw how like, you know, like a lot of holes, like arrows were hitting the target. But none, none of the arrows were hitting the bullseye. And this is re in regard to kingdom finance. And so and so for me, he was saying, Nate, like I've been seeing how you, you give, you've been giving unto the Lord, but you're not quite hitting the target uh, a, a lot of the times. A lot of times you're not hitting the bullseye with your giving. And so I'll just let you kind of go from there, Dan, about how hitting the bullseye, as so the Lord has been showing Dan, uh, and Dan's been walking in this too, which is really awesome. Um, actually, at the end of this, Dan, you, you'll have to tell that, that testimony of how your property that you paid for, what it's worth now. Yeah. That's awesome. But go ahead and just kind of share. Well, the only reason I've been so stirred up is because we have all these promises in the Word of God on uh -huh. finances. Yeah. And yet so many people are in such lack mm -hmm. in their life. Yeah. Including myself. I, I've lived there for years uh -huh. with such lack. And the more I mature and walk with the Lord, you know, I just have more questions and I start asking the Lord more, Lord, what am I missing? Uh -huh. What am I not seeing or what am I doing or doing wrong mm -hmm. that I'm not walking in your promises? Mm -hmm. So as I keep, as I've been asking the Lord, He's, he's helping me and teaching me and showing me different things. Mm -hmm. and, so this revelation that I got the other day from Nate mm -hmm. was uh, I went to Nate's shop where he works mm -hmm. and I'm walking around in the bow shop and I'm looking around and I think I, I was looking at targets where they, they do a little target practice at Nate's shop mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm just walking around and I, I start getting a vision of this target in my mind and uh, I just felt like the Lord saying, hey, you need to share some things with Nate on his finances, that hmm. he's not hitting the bullseye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hitting the bullseye is, you know, just bringing some correction in our life uh -huh. of maybe how, maybe we're giving not quite right, mm -hmm. you know, getting our, getting an alignment. Yeah. But when we start hitting the bullseye, mm -hmm. That's when you start seeing the promises in the Word of God yeah. start operating in your life. And you like start, shaken together, pressed down, yeah. returned unto you. Yeah. You start seeing fruit come back in your life, yeah. like the Bible talks about. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, the Lord just was speaking to me about <clears throat> the body of Christ, including myself. Yeah. I've done this for years. That we just we give, and we're just, you know. I consider this as the blessing. I mean, you 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 will get blessed from the Lord yeah. when you give. Uh -huh. Okay. But, but for me specifically, you were feeling like, so like, like me, when I give and I hit down here, that's me giving out of my emotions. Oh, I want to give here. I, I just, oh, yeah. you know, or like it could be, you just feel obligated. Oh, I should probably give to this church because I'm going to this church, you know. Mm -hmm. And so all this, all that type of giving, God still kind of blesses it, but not the press down, shaken together, you know. And so the, the Lord's, running over. Yeah. and so go ahead and share the insight of how to do that. How do we? Make sure that well, we're going to hit the bullseye. The, the Lord told me this. Here, here's the one revelation: is there's only one way to hit the bullseye. Uh -huh. And the Lord said it's impossible to hit this bullseye without asking the Holy Spirit where to give. Uh huh. That's you good. You have to do that. You have to learn to get in the habit when you're going to give to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I I will take like today. I, I took a check. I laid it on the table, mm -hmm. you know, and you ask the Lord, Lord, where does this go? Yeah. Where do you want this check to go? Yeah. You know, and I think it just, it takes practice because we're not used to that. We just, we just take our money or whatever and we just, oh, like Nate was talking about, we just give here, give there. Yeah. But 
when you start giving or the Holy Spirit says to give mm. then you start seeing fruit come back in your life that you've never seen mm. and I say that from me actually doing it myself yeah. when I started getting in the habit of asking <clears throat> The fruit that is coming back on my life is, I've never experienced it before. Hmm. I mean, it is, it's its like the promise it says, press down, shake and running over. Yeah. Kind of and fruit. I can vouch for Dan. Dan, he's always been, uh, not always, but Dan has for a while been, he, he's been a giver. I've noticed that Dan is one of those guys who just gives. But even though he was a giver for many years, he was not seeing the fruit that he thought he would be getting and so um so as of the last few years though like three years last three years dan's been seeing a lot of favor and i so i asked him about just some of the things that he's been seeing happen and dan share just a little bit of like the favor you're getting like even on your job just the people that the the uh you're seeing just deals yeah. are coming to you like really good deals uh yeah well i've been work like like uh, opportunities to work here work there and just <clears throat> yeah, I just, I've just seen more doors open for me. Yeah. I mean, when I say fruit come back, it's not necessarily always liquid cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's favor with people that I've never had in my life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I've been seeing that too. Um, like even in the prayer group, it's like the leader of that prayer group is like, oh damn, we need Dan. Like Dan, give us the word of the Lord, Dan. And like, and so it's it like just, he considers you like the prophet of that group. Basically, it's pretty awesome. It's just, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's. And just getting revelations for people, you know? Yep. Like you're getting downloads for people and yeah, you're blessing people. Yeah, I can't really say it's one thing or two things. Yeah, it's a lot it's, of things. It's like a, <clears throat> so many different things in my life have changed for the good. Yeah. You know, fruit in so many different areas. Yeah. And uh, so, okay, so the, the, so yeah, asking the Holy Spirit where exactly you want us to give. The next thing he had for me is he asked me a question. He said, Nate, if I was to give you uh, $200 tonight, Tell me, Nate, what would you do with it right after that? Well, ask the people, what, you know, what, what would yeah, they yeah. do? So ask like, them. yeah, if, if, if you sat him. here with Dan and you're and he gave you $200 tonight to bless you, like, what would you do with that yeah, money? Name two things. Oh, name two things you'd yeah, do with it? Name two things you would do with that money. Yeah, so that's something you guys could kind of just think about. Pause the video. Yeah. Think about two things you'd do with the money. So I answered and he's like, mm, is that okay, Nate? That, that's okay. That's okay. But here's where you're missing it. And so... Uh, so yeah, this is the second principle the Lord showed him. And I have been sloppy with this. I've been very sloppy. And so maybe just mention that proverb. Yeah, so uh, this is one I gave to Nate a little while ago. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9. This is the New King James. It says, verse 9 says, Honor the Lord with your possessions. And here, here's the key. Here's the bombshell. Mm-hmm. And with the first fruits of all your increase. Yeah. Okay, then the promise after that mm -hmm. comes and says, So your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will overflow with new wine. Hmm. Yeah. So what the Lord was highlighting uh -huh. that we have been missing, all of us, is it says, when it says, honor the Lord with your possessions, with the first fruits of all your increase. Yeah. That's a big key right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what we're talking about, like the $200. Yeah. So, if somebody gives you $200 tonight, and we ask, well, what, what, what give us a couple things you're going to do with it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The first thing you yeah. should do with the $200 is honor the Lord with the first fruits of all your increase. That two hundred dollars is increase in your life. Yeah, yeah. So you need to honor the Lord with part of that. Wow. Okay. Which. So you got to be kind of uh, sort of meticulous. Like, so t share with the what you do. So you actually have a chalkboard at your house. I, I got myself a little chalkboard from yeah. Walmart. I know it's it's about this size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, but, and I stuck up, I stuck up by my desk. Uh huh. And so uh, if, if someone gave you two hundred dollars, as soon as you go home, you write down on that chalkboard, God. I, I I owe you twenty bucks. If you were to do but, the ten percent well, principle, I, yeah. If if you do ten percent, which yeah, just whatever I, you want to do. I do ten percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do more. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's um, the first thing you do. You first before you spend that money at all, you give God a percentage of it I before you do it anything on the else. Board. I take you know okay. take a little tally of my, my. So that this is where I have been sloppy. I have been trying. I haven't been keeping records of like this kind of stuff. Even when people tip me at my work I'll like sometimes I'll take the money I put it in a tip bowl but uh, I haven't really been keeping 
good track of it. I've been a little sloppy. And so even with giving God like of my, my increase or my uh, wages, I don't even really, I haven't really been writing down how much I'm actually making. I just been uh, giving what I thought would be at least 10%, you know, but I haven't been super. And, and yeah, like if people give me money, I don't go home and give God his money first. I haven't really thought of it doing it that meticulously. So that's good. That's really good. So here's a question I'm going to ask everybody. Okay. Back to Proverbs cha uh, chapter 3, verse 10. It says, so your barns will be filled with plenty. Here's my question. Are your barns filled with plenty and mm. are your vats overflowing with new wine? Mm. Okay. Yeah, so question. for me, I ask myself, why am I not seeing my barns filled with plenty, my vats overflowing? Yeah. So anyway, the Lord highlighted this for me to, in my own life. Yeah. That I was not, you know, I would just, <coughs> like, Nate was, like Nate was talking about, I was doing the same thing. Yeah. So I was determined. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to rob God anymore. Is that yeah. robbing God? Well, he says to honor him. Yeah. With, and he says with the first fruits of all, hmm. all, A-L-L, yeah. yeah. all your increase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And That's the good. Lord really highlighted that to me for myself. So, anyway, um, and that's then, one of the little. Could you say it's a little fox? Oh yeah, yeah. You could say you could say it. Maybe it's you know the little yeah. fox has spoiled the whole vine. Well, yeah. it could be. You know, we need to bring a little correction in our life just in this area. And um, the other thing that you shared, Dan, that was really good, is how sowing God like. Some people say, oh, well, you know, I, I can just sow God my time. And you were kind of like, sure, what you, the Lord kind of showed you about that. Like, if you sow time, you'll reap, 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 yeah, you'll time. reap time. But, yeah, because... but these verses are really talking about, uh, like, your actual money, like your increase. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's so, sowing. You know, the Bible talks about when we sow, mm -hmm. how how the the fruit comes back in, in its likeness. Yeah, the okay. seed that you've sown will okay. return in the likeness okay. Okay. of its kind. Okay. So if you sow time, you will reap time. Okay. But you won't necessarily reap, like, you know, financial blessing. Well, I mean, the Lord can do anything. Yeah, the Lord can do anything. But yeah. what I have seen in my own life is yeah. specific areas I sow in, I seem, I'm, well, I'm noticing yeah. that I'm reaping in that same vein that I sowed in. Okay. So when I, if I need money, I sow money. Okay, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. And, uh... And then the other over, thing... Oh, I just want to mention this. Over time, I've heard people, we talk about money and giving money. Yeah. And I've heard people over time say, well, we can give our time. Uh-huh. And I say, well, you can give your time, but, you know, the bottom line is it's hard sometimes for people to give money. They don't want... Yeah. We don't naturally want to give money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's the bottom line. Okay, we yeah. We just don't want to do it. Yeah. So we will give time so we don't have to give money. And the First Fruits principle shows that, like, God really wants the stuff that's the most precious to us. Yeah. First Fruits. So money is a little bit more precious to us than our time. A lot of people, they'll hoard their money and they'll give you their time, but they, they don't want to give you their, their wallet. Yes. And that's, so that's, that's good. That's right. Um, and then the other part that, that the, la the third thing you had for me that was really good is like, it kind of goes along with the bullseye thing. You were sharing how God showed you to be wise about giving and sowing. Make sure you're sowing into people in the kingdom of God that are not eating their seed. Yeah. And so share that little part. Well, the Lord, I... I just remember for years I sowed, I gave to churches, I gave mm -hmm. to different places, and I just wasn't seeing any fruit. Yeah. And I started realizing that over and over. And one day the Lord started speaking to me about, He said, you're sowing into places that people are eating your seed. Yeah, okay. And I thought, how do people eat my seed? But they don't know how to steward uh -huh. the, the seed, you know, yeah. the kingdom wealth. They don't yeah. know how to steward it. And, uh, and uh, you know, they, 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 eating your seed is they spend your money on their needs. Oh, yeah. They don't, so they don't do their part of like giving a percentage no, they, of it to God. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, okay. They, yeah. They don't, they yeah. don't take a percentage out and, and let it flow out. Okay. They eat everything. So you're kind of sewing into a black hole, so to speak. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Make sure you're not sewing into black holes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But so honestly, 
the only way you will really know, again, when you go back to where good ground is, is by asking the Holy Spirit. So Dan gave me an example of like a, 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 a place that's sowing kingdom wealth in, in, with wisdom and not eating their seed. And uh, so the Lord's, as Dan's been doing this, he's been praying. So, okay, like you have your chalkboard at home. You write down all that stuff that you need to, you need to, owe, you, you're giving God this money. After about a couple weeks or whatever, you then sit down, you write a check out, you add, you add up how much you're going to give God. You write out your check, you kind of sit there, you pray over it. You say, Lord, where do you want me to give this? And then within a day or two or three, the Lord will kind of answer your question. And so uh, Dan kind of, I asked him, so he gave me a, a couple places of examples of where God showed him to sow into and uh, and yeah I have to admit it's like oh yeah they, they totally are stewarding wealth uh, with wisdom and so that that makes sense and then because of Dan obeying the Holy Spirit and hitting the target like this property I want Dan you got to share this testimony so this property that Dan bought uh, a couple years ago two years ago three years ago or a year ago yeah, two or three years ago now. Okay, so Dan did what he, he sowed a financial seed. It was a pretty big seed. He sowed a seed to where God told him to, to put it. It was it was definitely a sacrificial seed. And uh, so he gave like a, 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 a gift offering, a love offering to God. And then he gets these seven and a half acres. Uh, and uh, it was owned by a logging company. And it was kind of adjacent to his property. And they on sell the river. Yeah, on the river. They sell it to them for super cheap, like forty five hundred bucks. And it's not developed or anything, so it's like, you know, his his wife was like, Well, you know, it's it's great we got that, but it's not necessarily developed and I don't know if it's really worth a whole lot and and everything. And then and then share what happened with the taxes. Yeah, well <laughs> what you didn't share, I just would like to say yeah, yeah, yeah. about we, we we did so for us it was a big scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Lord brought this property in, into our life, I knew it was related to that seed. Yeah. And she goes, wow, that, that's really great. You know, that's, that's really neat. We have this land, this, you mm -hmm. know, this $4,500 piece, but she goes, but we sold this. Yeah, yeah. So we got our tax statement. Actually, I believe it was this year. And uh, she looked at the tax statement. You know, it usually says the real market value of your place. Yeah. And the real bar value, market this, value, the market value, yeah, of this property, I believe it was this year. It and this is like, seven and a half acres. Yeah. On the yeah. river. I think it was, it was close to two hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Oh, wow. She, and you got that for forty five hundred bucks. I thought she was gonna come out of her skin. <laughs> wow. But that, that is so cool. That's. You know, so you've been getting like you've been getting cool things where, like. People will give you things. People are like, oh, you can just have that. Or you get really good deals in your job. Your job is running smoother. Yeah, people are more generous. More to generous you. to you. Uh, I'm seeing fruit yeah. that I've never experienced. And I would say the biggest change I've done is I start asking the Holy Spirit, Lord, where do you want me yeah. to give my offering? Or if you call it a tithe or whatever you call yeah. it, you know, um, it, it changed everything. It's, yeah, it, that's awesome. And... Uh, so and, and learning to honor the Lord with all of yeah. your increase yeah. is a big key. That's all, another yep. one that really awesome. The Lord highlighted. Awesome. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Anything? Okay. Any last little thing you could think of? Uh, <clears throat> you know, we talked one other thing about the Lord showed me three three of the biggest mountains we have to get over. Okay. That we're we're all born into. So, but it's selfishness, greed, and yeah. what was the other one? Nate? Self centeredness? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, you know, trying to get over those mountains for mm. me, it's, it's just a continual giving to yeah. the Lord. And as mm. you keep giving and honoring the Lord, you know, I just could keep feeling those things leave and mm. out of my life and just more freedom to give. So, yeah. I just want to encourage everybody. Yeah, that's good. There awesome. are they're battles that we just have to get through, but you can yeah. do it. Yeah, awesome. In Thanks, Jesus Dan. Name. Sweet. Welcome. All right, you guys. Well, uh, yeah, I thought that might be a blessing to some of you, and so cool. Bless you guys. <laughs>